Good morning, and thank you for the opportunity to speak with you today. <clears throat> My name is Jennifer Alexander, and I'm the Vice President of Research and Partnerships at CONCAN. I'm here in support of the peak developed core requirements for teacher and principal evaluation. I've observed every peak meeting since they began. The issues peak has been wrestling with for the last two years are the same issues tackled by education leaders in other states, districts, and school systems that have designed and implemented performance evaluation systems. The core requirements before you today reflect many of the <clears throat> lessons learned and promising practices that we have found are used in other systems in Connecticut and nationwide. CONCAN recently partnered with Public Impact and 50CAN to release a report called Measuring Teacher Effectiveness, a look under the hood of teacher evaluation in 10 sites. The report offers an in-depth look at the design and implementation challenges of leading evaluation systems, including three states, five large districts, one charter management organization, and one graduate school of education. I'm pleased to say that many of the core requirements before you today reflect the lessons learned and best practices in these sites. These core requirements hold both teachers and administrators accountable for results using a balanced set of measures that rightly place a premium on student growth and outcomes. They also include peer, parent, and student input. They offer teachers and administrators options to tailor their performance measures to their own students, subject matters, and teaching assignments. Using a matrix style system similar to New Haven's, every teacher and administrator will be assigned one of four summative evaluation ratings. To be clear, these requirements do not hinge on one single test score, and it was never proposed that they should. They do not give administrators vast powers to arbitrarily target individual teachers. These requirements do offer a potentially strong foundation for state performance evaluation system that will help develop and support teachers and administrators and would be a huge improvement over our current largely inadequate evaluations. Now, we all know that successful implementation of these requirements will be essential to building a solid statewide performance evaluation system and development system. After all the hard work PEAK members put into developing these guidelines and requirements, CONCAN hopes that all the stakeholder organizations, especially those involved in the PEAK, will work with their memberships to build a clear understanding of the system and help ensure its effectiveness during the pilot phase and beyond. <clears throat> Since the system allows for significant tailoring of evaluation measures based on an educator's or administrator's unique job, it will be essential for all of us to ensure that the standards and goals set reflect high expectations for all our students, regardless of the student's race, family income, or zip code. There will inevitably be bumps in the road. We cannot let these bumps throw us off course. Rather, we need to commit to resolve these problems and continually refine the system, just as the sites profiled in our report are doing. CONCAN stands ready to monitor and support Im implementation however we can because we know, like you, that developing and implementing a strong educator and principal evaluation system is integral to ensuring great teachers in every classroom and great public schools for every kid. Thanks. Thank you. Richard Bias.